Hello there, Libra. Thank you for stopping by for your Psychic Tarot Forecast for the week of January 9th through the 25th. I am using my Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And let's see, on Monday what you have coming up is the Nine of Clubs in Reverse. Nine of Clubs in Reverse just tells me that you have a project that you're working on or maybe even a relationship, um, but this is something that you feel very passionately about and you are getting close to the end of that project and you're starting to feel like you should really be um, feeling pretty happy with it but there's something going on that's delaying the progress on that and so um, it's you're in a place really of kind of frustration of how do I get this to move forward the way I want it to move forward right now so that's what I see coming in for you on Monday on Tuesday we have the ten of clubs showing up and the Ten of Clubs really talks about responsibility in general, and it also talks about family responsibility in particular. Um, now you have to understand that um, when I talk about family responsibility, what you'll notice a lot of times is not only am I talking about blood family, but also if you're in a relationship that is a more serious relationship, a little bit of a longer bond and a little bit of a more deep bond where you guys are helping each other, more partnering through life even though you haven't made anything official, a lot of times whenever I'm reading something about family those types of relationships will be included in something that comes up that could be for family so um, a significant relationship a serious uh, partnership would be included as family as well even though it's not blood so ten of clubs talks about a responsibility for family so I'm feeling like on Tuesday Libra um, a lot of you I don't feel like this is actually going to apply to all of you. I think there's like 30% of you that this is not even going to apply to at all. But about 70% of you are going to be picking up some kind of responsibility that has to do with family. And it's going to be a responsibility that you did not have before. So this could be something like, um, I used to have elderly neighbors across the street and they had a daughter that would come over and once a month she would set up all of their medications in their little containers you know they would have the weekly containers Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday and she would set up all their meds like once a month that would be like an example of a family responsibility that somebody could take on so um, there's a lot of different versions of a family responsibility but that's one example this can also be something that you do with kids maybe your kid just started a ballet class and so now you're taking on the responsibility of um, carpooling your kid and their and her friends or his friends to ballet class um, lots of different ways family responsibilities can come in, but I feel like on Tuesday you are picking up a new one. All right, so Libra's Wednesday. What you have coming in is the World card. I like the World card. I actually have kind of I have sort of my name for cards <laughs> that don't necessarily match what's labeled on them, and my name for the World card is the Dream Come True card. Um, whenever the world card comes up what this is talking about is really the whole world is in your hands and there's something that has that you have been wanting to have manifest in your life and it's something that you've been wanting to have manifest for a while and so it is finally showing up on Wednesday and I feel like for about 90% of you it shows up in complete form on Wednesday so it shows up totally ready to rock and roll Wednesday I do feel like there's about 10% of you though that it's not showing up completely on Wednesday Libras what you're getting is you're getting your first little hints at manifestation you're getting your first little bits of encouragement that yes it's on the way in um, but either way I do see progress at manifestation on Wednesday for you guys Libras Seven of Coins is what's coming up for you on Thursday. Now in this deck, Seven of Coins just means it's harvest time. So if there's something that you have done and done expecting to have have it pay off, have it return efforts or return energy or return money back to you at a later date, then you can expect that this is the day to start collecting those returns. This is the day to start collecting the payout on that. If you're a farmer, this would be harvest time.
And I have seen this apply um, not only to business type projects and hobbies, but I've also seen this apply to relationships as well. When one person has really been working on building up trust with another person so that that person will open up with them or something like that, I have seen that type of energy invested um, with the hopes of a payoff. And then this card will come up for um, the time that the payoff is coming in. All right, so... I would say maybe 15% of you we're talking about relationship. The rest of you we are talking about something that is more materially based. So Friday Libra, what we have here is we have the Five of Cups. Now the Five of Cups really talks about reprioritizing. And it talks about reprioritizing because there's been some kind of disappointment that came up that made you realize, hmm, maybe I'm putting too much of my effort and my energy into this thing when I should be focusing more over here because this other thing is going to pay me better for my effort and my energy. And so um, after a disappointment and after that realization that where we thought should be our priority probably isn't, then we just fine tune, we reset our priorities and we start moving forward with the new priorities in place. And this can have to do with relationships. This can also, it is a cups card, but it can also have to do with finances and material goods as well. I've seen it come in both ways. All right, so King of Cups is what comes up for you guys on Saturday, Libra. So I'm feeling like Saturday you're having some kind of interaction with a person who is very much in control of their emotions. And I do want to point out, you know, most of most of my viewers, like 75% of my viewers are female, and so I'm sure that's why when, when Spirit brings in somebody that could be a romantic attraction, it comes in as male, because that's accurate for the majority. But for those of you of my viewers who happen to be male, sometimes whenever somebody comes in that could be a romantic interest, um, if it comes in on a male card, you can um, just kind of twist that in your mind and go, okay, okay, well, that could be a female. Um, of course, and that's assuming you're male and you're heterosexual. I mean, you could be male and be happy to have a male romantic interest as well. So I don't mean to offend anybody or leave anybody out, but I was just kind of feeling like, you know, male heterosexuals were being kind of left out here. <laughs> so I want you to know that um, just because I'm talking about romantic uh, interest type stuff and I have a male personality card coming up for that in your own mind you can just switch that to a female personality card and it should actually still turn out to be pretty accurate it should still be a very similar personality uh, it should be just about as good as you would normally get from a general reading from me okay so back to Saturday and the King of Cups coming in so this is somebody who is um, very much um, in touch with their emotions. That's the best way to say that. This person is really able to feel their emotions, able to express their emotions very well, and also able to release their emotions when it's time. So they don't hold on to a bunch of negative stuff for no particular reason other than to just make life hell for themselves and the people around them. They release it. So they're very actually very pleasant to be around because um, this type of person is not somebody who you have to wonder where you stand with them because they are so good at expressing their emotions. You pretty much know. And they don't just verbalize their emotions. Well, I'm getting a lot of information on this person. So they don't just verbalize their emotions, this person that you interact with on Saturday. You can find out a lot about their emotions from body language. They're very expressive. Um, this person really, um, for you guys, laborers, this person that's coming in on Saturday almost just doesn't even know how to masquerade their real feelings. I mean, if you would ask this person to lie for you, that would be very, very hard for them <laughs> because they just don't know how to cover up the real deal. So um, that's what you can expect from this person that shows up on Saturday in your life. And then Sunday, Libras, what we have coming up is the Nine of Cups in reverse. And what this really tells me is that when the Nine of Cups come up in reverse, you have some relationship issues. And please, 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 when I say relationship, I know most of you are just automatically narrowing that down. You're not thinking relationship, you're thinking romantic relationship. That's not what I said. Snap out of it. <laughs> 
Nine of Cups in reverse, you're having some relationship issues. We have relationships with our parents, with our siblings, with our other family members, with our friends, with our co-workers. We have tons of relationships that this card could apply to. Very few of you have actually getting Libra are getting this in on your romantic relationships. Most of you are getting this in on family, that you have some family relationships that could use some work, some fine tuning and some tweaking. That's what I'm really seeing here, Libra. You have some relationships that do need some work, and they are, um, for the most part, not romantic. Maybe 10% of you romantic relationships, but most of you, this has a lot more to do with blood family or the family you were raised with. Um, so anyway, that is your week, Libra. So if any of you would like to schedule a session with me, you should know that I do more than the Psychic Tarot card readings. I also do spiritual healing as well as mediumship work. So check out my website, amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. And once you've checked that out, if you decide that you want to work with me, go ahead and get a hold of me and we'll schedule you a session as quickly as possible. And other than that, I will see everybody here next week. Peace out.